Hello and welcome to this brief video on setting up your email on Outlook. This video demonstrates setting your email account that is your business email on your Outlook. So how do we do it? Let's see. For doing that you need to have Outlook and you need to have access to your web email. That is how you're gonna set up your email account. To begin you need to first acquire some basic information from your web email. So go to your web email. Here in this case we are gonna set up an account for Usmani Associates. So here we go, we go to the email that is employee mailbox. This is a web email for their account. Try your website, your website name slash web mail that should do the trick. If you're not able to do that, you may contact your service provider that is your hosting company to find your specific URL to log into your webmail. So you will be logging in using your ID and your password to this webmail. Once you're logged in, you might have to select one of the default webmail application to see your webmails. So I may get just simply select one of them. To me round cube looks very nice so I usually use that. And here on the top right corner of your browser that is your webmail client you will see your email or your ID here. There once you click you will see a drop menu coming down. Here you just need to click on configure mail client. This will give you a good piece of information that will help you set up your mail account. Here if you are looking at manual settings you would notice we have secure SSL settings and we have non-secure settings which is not recommended. So we will be using these settings to set up our mail client. So let me minimize this window and go back to my Outlook. Since I have that information ready with me now I will simply go to Outlook, click on this button which says File. I am doing this in Outlook 2016, 2016. These steps will also be similar for Outlook 2010, Outlook 2013 and Outlook 2007. With a little variation you can set up your Outlook even if it is of the older version. Now you need to click on Account Settings under File and you will notice this pop-up window on your screen. In this pop-up you just need to click on new and you will see auto account setup window. Here you just need to select manual setup and click next. It would be pop or imap. Click next. Your username would be your email address in most cases. Sometimes it may differ so please refer your manual that is configuration page of your webmail. Here you could see my username is my complete email address. So I would enter that one and it will ask me the email address. I will enter that. Here I will select IMAP. There is quite a good difference between IMAP and POP3. Always recommended from my side would be IMAP which is uh, way more useful and beneficial than POP3. I may put up the uh, link inside this video description to help you understand the difference between IMAP and POP3. You may refer that link. So for incoming mail server, I might need this information. Here I have incoming mail server information and I have outgoing mail server information. Both are same. So I will enter incoming mail server and outgoing mail server information. It is asking me for the password. So I will simply enter the password and before I click on next I need to click on more settings here. Under more settings I go to outgoing server and select this option which says my outgoing server requires authentication. Then click on advanced. Here the incoming mail port number is 143. The moment I change this to SSL it will change to 993. The outgoing server is showing as 25. I'll change it to 465 and use the encrypted connection that is SSL. Now I click on OK and click Next. 
now once I click on next it will begin to log into my account test a send and receive process through this account and confirm that yes it is working you may notice that in a moment it might take a bit so please wait here logged in complete sending a test mail completed so we have succeeded setting up this mail account on Outlook now once we close we need to click on finish you can notice that email in this list here now if you close this you will also notice that mail address here it may take a moment to synchronize all your emails if it is taking time you gotta sit back and wait because this will take time depending upon your internet connectivity thank you so much this completes our demonstration if you have any questions or queries or you fall in trouble don't forget to mention that in the comments below and I'll be there to help you hope this video helped you don't forget to click on that little button which says subscribe for regular updates from our channel